Hey guys, so we're going to talk about resistance bands and how we can utilize them in your training. If you don't have resistance bands, we have them at Team Firepower. We have the lighter ones and we also have some of the heavier ones available. So how can we use these? So I've got some heavy resistance band exercises, some, just a few ideas that we can go over and then how we can add lighter bands to your existing lighter loads to make it more challenging. So let's talk about the heavier bands and what exercises we can do. So we can make an air squat more challenging just by simply standing inside of the band. Squat down, bring the band over so it's at the top of your upper back and then we're just gonna be doing an air squat. The load is gonna decrease as we descend and then it's gonna increase as we stand back up. So we're just gonna be doing a simple air squat if it, try to make sure, mine's a little bit on my neck at the moment, so just try and adjust it so it's actually across the top of your shoulders. You don't want it to be too high on your neck when you do this. You can also do the, the good morning like we did before, sending the hips back, getting the chest parallel to the ground, and then standing up. You can also do good mornings. This is another great exercise that you can do with the band. You can also do some upper body exercises. So if you've got a tree, or just something taller so you can throw the bands over. You can reach up pretty tall, come into a kneeling position. Toes will be hooks. Shoulders are gonna be down. You're gonna think about pulling the elbows down to where your pelvis is. And we can also simulate lat pull down or a pull up. And again, this wants to be pretty controlled. And again, we can talk about we're just doing this for time, so more time and attention or more reps. So if we're going for more reps, it might be that you're doing it at a faster pace, but you're doing more of them than if you were doing it for a slower tempo. The same can be done with a tricep pull down with an even heavier band, so we can control it down, especially on the eccentric. Again, if you were looking at doing lesser repetitions, we could do that. If you're doing more, then it might be you don't have so much of a tempo. Yeah, so tricep extension is another good one. Another good one would be rows. This could be just in the form of a seated row. So that again, it could be attached around your stairs. I could take it back in a seated position. And we could do seated rows as well. Again, slower or if you're looking at doing more repetitions or for a period of time, let's say five minutes, don't have much of a tempo on there. What we can also do, if we've only got lighter bands available, so this would be the, the thinner bands, we can add it to your lighter loads to increase tension. So from here, I've got light dumbbells, and when I row, I'm increasing the amount of tension at the top of the rep. So it's like a bit heavier dumbbells. I could do this in the form of a RDL as well. Simulate a deadlift. And I can also do this with a kettlebell. I've got a really light bell and I want have more resistance. I can spread my feet pretty wide and then with the band it's going to add extra resistance at the top of the swing for me so I can get a better workout. I hope these ideas have been helpful and I hope to see you utilizing them. Thanks guys.